Hey, welcome to the channel. There are over 2000 questions in lead code and I want to show you the hardest question in lead code is the easiest. Let me show you the question first. Let's filter the hard ones and order by acceptance. I was going to solve the 420, but it's an old question and has many solutions on internet. Question is called fancy sequence. Question wants us to write a class with the following methods. Our constructor will create a new array. Append will add a new item to the end of the array. Add all will add some value to the every item in the sequence. Multiple will multiply every item in the sequence by some number. And get index will return the element at the requested index after applying a modulus operation. Let me show you how it works. Let's create an array. Okay, now let's append 3 and 2 to the array. Now we our array consists of 3 and 2. Now when we get the add all command, we, we are adding 2 to the every element in the array and getting 5 and 4. Now we are multiplying every item in the array by 2 and finally we get 10 and 8. The problem with this approach is our runtime complexity is ON. And I believe it will create problems. Let's try it and see if it creates a problem. Before running it on lead code service, let's try it offline first. Okay, it's working. Now let's try it on lead code service. As it turns out, it's taking too long. And yes, time limit is ex exceeded. So we need to make it faster. So suppose we have a list with 1 million items and and all method is invoked. We will have to iterate over all items and update them making it on. And this method can be called many times, one after another. An easier solution is to save these operations like event sourcing and apply all of them to the item at uh, requested index. To do this, I will create two new variables called uh, add and mult. When add all method is called, instead of updating every item in our array, we will add these values to our add field. And whenever mult all method is called, instead of updating every item, we will multiply our mult field and add fields. This way, when get index is called by adding add value and multiplying by mult value we can find the final value and make it much faster let me show it visually so first we are creating our array and don't forget we will not change it anyway let's add append 3 and 2 and when our add all method is called we are writing 2 to our add field and whenever multiple is called, we will multiply the add variable and multi variable with that value. So now we have, we know to add 4 and multiply it by 2. So we get 8 as a result. And we just reduced our runtime complexity from ON to O1. One thing we just didn't count is appending new items after calling add all and mount all. If we leave our code like this, they will also get multiplied and added by our add and mount fields, which will result in wrong values. So when we append new values, we have to do the reverse operations, subtraction and division to neutralize our previous operations. Okay, now we converted it from uh, ON to O1. So it should work flawlessly. So the hardest question on lead code is actually the easiest question. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.